Welcome to Module 10, AWS Global Infrastructure. In this module, we will cover the following subject. AWS Global Infrastructure Overview. AWS Regions. AWS Availability Zone. AWS Edge Location. Building for Resilience, Multi-Region Strategy. AWS Wavelength. AWS Local Zone. Let's get started. The AWS cloud spans 102 availability zones within 32 geographic regions around the world, with announced plans for 15 more availability zones and 5 more AWS regions in Canada, Germany, Malaysia, New Zealand, and Thailand. AWS extends its reach with over 600 points of presence, more than 400 edge locations, and 13 regional edge caches strategically placed worldwide. These edge locations serve as the foundation for services like Amazon CloudFront and AWS Global Accelerator. For ultra-low latency applications, AWS offers 36 local zones and 29 wavelength zones. These specialized zones bring the power of AWS closer to your end users, ensuring your applications respond with lightning speed. AWS's global reach extends to 245 countries and territories, making it accessible to a vast, worldwide audience. This expansive network ensures your applications can connect and serve users wherever they are. For those seeking a direct and dedicated connection to AWS services, there are 115 Direct Connect locations available. This option allows for a secure, low-latency link to the AWS cloud. AWS regions are geographical distinct locations where AWS builds data centers in groups. Each region contains multiple data centers with compute, storage, and other services. AWS regions are not isolated islands. They're interconnected through a high-speed fiber network meticulously overseen by AWS. This global network facilitates seamless communication and data transfer between regions, enabling your applications to operate harmoniously across the world. While regions communicate seamlessly, they also uphold stringent data isolation. Each AWS region is a self-contained entity, ensuring that data remains confined within its borders and less explicitly allowed. This not only bolsters data sovereignty but also aligns with local regulations and laws. Selecting an AWS region is a pivotal decision. Customers have several key factors to consider. Compliance, ensure your data adheres to specific regulatory requirements by choosing the right region. Proximity, opt for a region in close proximity to your user base. Reduced latency and enhanced performance can significantly impact user experience. Feature availability, verify that the region provides the AWS services you need. Keep in mind that some new services might be introduced in specific regions first. Pricing, assess operating costs in different regions, taking into account factors like taxes and expenses. This approach helps you identify a budget-friendly option. An availability zone, often abbreviated as OZ, is a single data center or a group of data centers within an AWS region. Each AWS region typically consists of a minimum of two availability zones. Each availability zone operates independently, isolated from others within the same AWS region. This isolation ensures that any unforeseen events, such as a fire or an earthquake, impact only a single OZ, leaving the others unscathed. Your data is guarded against disruptions of all kinds. OZs are strategically spaced out, typically within 100 kilometers or 60 miles of each other. Despite the geographic distance, all OZs within a region are well connected through a dedicated metro fiber network. This interconnectivity facilitates high bandwidth, low latency networking. All traffic between OZs is not only swift but also encrypted, ensuring data security. AWS's multi-OS feature empowers you to spread your instances across multiple availability zones. This distribution fosters high availability, fault tolerance, and scalability for your applications and databases. In essence, it's a strategic move to enhance isolation and safeguard against potential issues like power outages and natural disasters. AWS Edge locations are part of the AWS global infrastructure that extends AWS services to geographically distributed users. AWS Edge locations are much more than mere data centers. 
They are strategically situated in major cities around the globe, meticulously designed to provide AWS services with minimal latency. These locations serve as critical touchpoints for services like Amazon CloudFront, AWS Global Accelerator, and Amazon Route 53. Amazon CloudFront, an AWS service, relies on these edge locations to offer cloud-based content distribution. It excels at serving dynamic content over HTTP and WebSocket protocols, making it ideal for a variety of applications. It plays a crucial role in enhancing the latency and scalability of web applications, API calls, and on-demand media streaming. It does so by efficiently caching content at edge locations, thus minimizing the waiting time for users. For a global performance boost, AWS offers the Global Accelerator service. It is designed to optimize application performance and availability on a global scale, supporting both UDP and TCP-based protocols. This service caters to a wide array of use cases, including non-HTTP scenarios like gaming, IoT, and voice over IP. It's also the preferred choice for HTTP use cases that require static IP addresses or rapid regional failover. AWS Global Accelerator focuses on finding the most efficient route to the closest regional endpoint, ensuring uninterrupted service. Amazon Route 53, another invaluable AWS service, is a highly available and scalable domain name system, DNS, web service. It's the bridge that connects user requests to internet applications hosted on AWS or on-premises infrastructure. It plays an integral role in ensuring that users can seamlessly access your applications while offering robust scalability and availability. In the ever-evolving landscape of cloud technology, building resilient systems is imperative. The adoption of a multi-region strategy within AWS is a key component to enhance resilience, ensure business continuity, provide low-latency experiences for end-users, and remain compliant with data sovereignty regulations. Consider the unexpected, yet all too real, scenarios of outages or disasters that can impact an entire AWS region. To bolster your disaster recovery strategy, you can replicate critical resources and data across different regions. In the unfortunate event of a region-specific outage, your services can be swiftly restored from the safety of other regions. This redundancy is your safety net, ensuring your operations stay afloat even in the face of adversity. Unforeseen disruptions can be catastrophic. With a multi-region strategy in place, you're well prepared to face the unknown. If one region faces issues or disruptions, your applications and services can seamlessly transition and continue running smoothly from unaffected regions. Your business stays in motion, regardless of the challenges that arise. User experience is paramount in the digital age. By distributing your resources across geographically dispersed regions, you unlock the power to serve your end users from locations that are physically closer to them. This inherently reduces latency and translates to a superior user experience. Your users enjoy faster response times and smoother interactions with your applications. The world of data regulations is complex and ever-changing. To navigate this terrain effectively, Deploying your resources in specific regions is vital. It ensures that your data remains within the legal jurisdiction and complies with local data protection laws. You're not just safeguarding data, you're ensuring that you're in line with the compliance landscape. For organizations with a global footprint, the multi-region strategy is a game changer. It allows you to cater to users in different geographic regions, offering them better performance and scalability. You can scale your operations to match the demands of diverse user bases and ensure that your services remain reliable, regardless of where your users are located. AWS Wavelength embeds AWS Compute and Storage Services within 5G networks, providing mobile edge computing infrastructure for developing, deploying, and scaling ultra-low latency applications. First, envision extending your Amazon Virtual Private Cloud to include a wavelength zone, a realm designed to eliminate latency. Here, you can create AWS resources such as Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instances within the desired subnets. It's a seamless expansion of your AWS universe, designed for minimal latency and maximal performance. Now, imagine deploying the segments of an application that demand ultra-low latency within a wavelength zone. This is where AWS Wavelength works its magic. 
It allows these ultra-responsive components to connect seamlessly back to the broader application and the complete suite of cloud services operating within the AWS region. The result? An uninterrupted flow of data, where latency is no longer a roadblock. Your application traffic can effortlessly reach the application servers residing within the wavelength zones without leaving the confines of the mobile network. It's a tightly knit, high-speed ecosystem designed to cater to the most demanding of low-latency applications. Now, let's explore the practical applications of this technology. Develop media and entertainment applications that stand out, supporting high-resolution live video streaming, high-fidelity audio and immersive augmented and virtual reality experiences. It's the perfect stage for pushing the boundaries of content delivery. Empower edge computing in 5G and unlock the potential of 5G applications in critical domains such as medical diagnostics, retail, and smart factory settings. By running AI and ML-driven video and image analytics at the edge, you enable faster ML inference. It's a game-changer for those who demand rapid insights. Bring to life connected vehicle applications with near real-time connectivity between vehicles and the cloud. This opens the door to advanced driver assistance, autonomous driving, and in-vehicle entertainment experiences. It's a roadmap to the future of automotive innovation. AWS Local Zone allowed you to run latency-sensitive applications closer to end-users. AWS Local Zones place compute, storage, database, and other select AWS services close to large population and industry centers. AWS Local Zones are used to provide your users with low latency access to your applications. They enable you to create applications in proximity to your users, eliminating the lags in real time gaming, live streaming, augmented and virtual reality experiences, virtual workstations, and beyond. It's the secret sauce for responsiveness. AWS Local Zones simplified your hybrid cloud migrations, as you can migrate your application to a nearby AWS Local Zone, while preserving the low latency requirements that your hybrid setup demands. It's a journey to the cloud made smooth and easy. AWS Local Zones lets you comply with the specific data residency needs dictated by state and local regulations. Whether you're in the realms of healthcare, financial services, iGaming, or government sectors, AWS Local Zones have you covered. Congratulations! You have completed Module 10, AWS Global Infrastructure.